Hello! Today I'm going to be going over every single key on my favorite moneymaker map, Streets of Tarkov. Open the door or I'm gonna- I've easily made most of my rubles off this map and hopefully with this video I can help you too as well. As with the last video, I will state the loot behind the locked door and how much the key costs on the flea market at the time of recording. I will also state if the key has a guaranteed spawn, where it is, and if it is needed for a quest. Timestamps for the keys will be in the description. Without further ado, let's get started. Now to make things easier to follow, I'm going to be splitting the map into colored sections provided by the streets map. Starting off with the blue section of the map, our first key we're going to be covering is in a recently expanded part of the map. The MVD Academy Entrance Hall Guard Room key is located inside the Ministry Building through the front door to your left. Inside the room is loose valuables, one dead scav, and one sports bag. At the time of recording, this key is worth 18,000 rubles. Staying within the blue block, we head over to the Pinewoods Hotel's second story. On the second story, the key is Pinewood Hotel 206 room key, and the Pinewood Hotel room 215 key is located. Starting off with the 206 key, there's an interesting fact. It's always unlocked. Yep, that means the key does absolutely nothing. However, behind that door is one dead scav, one locked safe. It can be opened, but it has no loot, and a bit of loose loot. This room is also needed for the quest Debtor, or Debtor. At the time of recording, 25,000 rubles is your flea price. Down the hall a bit and to the left is room 215. Now behind this locked door is a one locked plastic suitcase and a bit of loose loot. This key is also needed for the quest watching you. At the time of recording, this key is worth 25,000 rubles. Heading across to the Klimov Street, the key Beluga Restaurant Director's Key can be found on the third floor of the Beluga Restaurant. Behind the locked door is a one locked safe, which cannot be opened with any key in the game. One PC block, one jacket, two filing cabinets, one sports bag, and a bit of loose valuables and other loose items. This key is possibly needed for the quest Beyond the Red Meat Part 1. At the time of recording, 42,000 rubles is your fleet price. And that finishes off the blue block section of the map. Now, heading across the street towards the Cardinal Apartment Complex Extract to start off our green block section of the map. The entrance right behind the blue part of the fence that reads Terror Group contains the keys Terror Group Meeting Room Key and the Terror Group Security Armory Key. Heading through the front entrance to our immediate left is the Meeting Room Key. This room contains two potential intel folder spawns and one filing cabinet. This room is possibly needed for Beyond the Red Meat Part 2. At the time of recording, 32k rubles is your flea price. Heading back past the entrance through the surveillance looking room, on the door to the left is the Terror Group Armory Key. Behind this door is one 5x5 weapon box, one 4x4 weapon box, one PC block, two wooden crates, one grenade box, one weapon locker, and two weapon racks. 53k rubles is your fleet price. Heading across the left side of Klimov Street, the door for the Rusty Bloody Key can be found. Now, this key is rather unique in that it's extremely rare but has a set spawn. Back to the Beluga Mall area on the first floor at this tool rack, there are two spawns right next to each other on the pegboard. This key cannot be put in the secure container, and once you die, it is destroyed. I wasn't able to get this key myself, as it's so rare, but I will tell you what's behind it. Many valuable key spawns, such as marked rooms, and a bit of loose valuables. This key is also needed for the quest of the door. This key cannot be listed on the flea market. Heading further down the street, you'll eventually come across a baby blue school building. Heading into the south entrance through the hall to your right, you'll find the PE teacher's office room key. Behind this door is a bit of loose loot. At the time of recording, 7k rubles is your fleet price. On the other side of the school is the building containing the room for the x-ray room key. Just head up the stairs, take the first door to your left, and then the second door to your right. Behind this door is one filing cabinet and a bit of loose med loot. This key is also needed for the quest Pets Won't Need It Part 1. At the time of recording, 49,000 rubles is your flea price. Heading to the next building, the negotiation room key can be found. Behind this door is one med bag, one PC block, a relax key potential spawn, we'll get to that later, and a bit of loose valuables. This key is needed for the quest, Developer's Secrets Part 1. At the time of recording, 10,000 rubles is your flea price. 
Backtracking to the school and to the left, we head through a broken window on the side of the map. Through this broken window, we follow a little maze to the very hidden mysterious room marked key. Behind this door is loose valuables, weapons, containers, ammo, etc. This key is also needed for broadcast part 5. At the time of recording, 950,000 rubles is your fleet price. Heading back across the street from the negotiation room building, we have the Zemet, Zemeski, Zemet, Meski, I'm gonna call it Mesky. The Mesky 5 Apartment 20 key. The locked room would be located at the very top of the stairs to the left. Behind the lock is one sports bag and a bit of loose loot. 11,000 rubles is your fleet price. Around the other side of the building, the Mesky 3 Apartment 8 key room is located on the second floor to your left. Behind the locked door is one sports bag, one jacket, and a bit of loose valuables. At the time of recording, 12,000 rubles is your flea price. Heading back out of the entrance, the building to our right contains the room for the archives room key. This room is located in the building, up the stairs, and to your right. Now behind this door it contains two filing cabinets and a locked safe. At the time of recording, 11,000 rubles is your flea price. Moving once again across the road to the building that connects to the right side of the sky bridge, the Primorsky 48 apartment key room can be found by heading up the stairs to the left into apartment 6 as labeled on the door. Heading into the room, the door to the right with the red shirt and the cute little green dude on it is your locked door. Behind that locked door is a bit of loose valuables. At the time of recording, 26,000 rubles is your fleet price. Headed back to the building on the other side of the sky bridge, if you go all the way up the stairs, you will find the locked door at the top, which the key Primorsky 4648 sky bridge key is used. This key has a 100% spawn location not too far from it. If you head back to the tavern that's connected to the Miski building, the key will spawn behind the bar on the table. Now if you unlock this door, behind it is one PC block and loose valuables. This key is needed for three quests, Ballet Lover, Audio File, and Spotter. This key cannot be listed on the flea market. If we head south, we'll reach the Tar Bank. The Tar Bank has two doors that the Tar Bank Cash Register Department key can be used on. Behind the two doors is one register in each of them, and one bank safe in each of them. Quick note for this one, that the key can be bypassed by vaulting through the front windows for now. At the time of recording, this key is worth 30,000 rubles. Heading down the street into the Czech building, we have our next three keys. The Czech 15 apartment key, the stair landing key, and the iron gate key. Starting off with the iron gate key, you'll make your way through the building, up the stairs, and to the third story. This key is able to open three of the cells, one, two, and four. Behind all the doors is a total of two dead scabs in cell one, and a bit of loose loot such as loose valuables, stems, and others. This key is required for the quest House Arrest Part 1. At the time of recording, 28,000 rubles is your fleet price. Dropping down the hole in the floor and crawling under the rubble, the stair landing key and check 15 key are across from one another. Behind the left door, which is your stair landing key, is merely a drop down or rotation spot. 10,000 rubles is your fleet price for the stair landing key. However, across the hall, the check apartment door contains loose valuables, stems, and etc. At surface level, this key might not sound like a lot, but this key is very profitable in my experience. As you can see, I got a GPU just showing the room off in an offline raid. This key is also needed for the quest House Arrest Part 2. At the time of recording, 3.2 million rubles is your flea price. <laughs> And that does it for the green section of the map. Now we're going to be cutting across to handle the orange area. Starting off the zone, we head into the center of the abandoned factory area, where aptly you can find the abandoned factory marked room key door. Behind that door is a bit of loose loot, such as weapons, valuables, containers, ammo, etc. This key is also required for the quest broadcast part 4. At the time of recording, this key is worth 950,000 rubles. Heading north, you'll find the next set of keys in the finance building. The financial institution small office key and financial institution office key can be found on the first and second floors respectfully. Behind the small office door is one jacket, three filing cabinets, one safe, and two PC blocks. At the time of recording, 28,000 rubles is your fleet price. Now behind the upstairs office door, you have 
five PC blocks, one sports bag, and a bit of loose valuables such as food. At the time of recording, 30,000 rubles is your flea price. Sticking to the side street to the south of Sewer River Extract, you'll find the relaxation room key door. This is another one of those really profitable keys that I highly recommend if you're looking for making big bucks. Behind this door is loose valuables and drinks and a lot of sports bags. Now I mentioned I'd come back to this key earlier and it's because it has a 100% chance spawn in one of 12 locations. If you head back to the negotiation room, you can find it in either the chalkboard in the meeting room, on the shelf next to the chest, in a weapon locker across from the shelf, on top of the hookah in the bathroom, on the metal table in the negotiation room, tucked into the purple magazine in the first office to the left, on the coat hanger in the same office, in the crotch of the human statue in the next office down, in the skull's mouth on the desk across, on the desk with the umbrella in the third office down, on the washing machine in the kitchen at the end of the hall, and lastly, under the pizza box on the metal table in the kitchen. Even with a guaranteed spot, this key can still be bought on the flea market at a hefty 100,000 rubles. Now with the relax key finishing up, we head to the yellow zone with the cinema area. Starting us off is the backup hideout key room, located under the main staircase to the cinema. Now behind this door is one wooden crate, one sports bag, one toolbox, and a bit of loose valuables and electronics. This key is required for the quest Missing Informant. This key is a guaranteed spawn in the small electrical operating room across from the street of the Lexus dealership in a duffel bag. This key cannot be listed on the flea market. Now the only other key we have in the yellow section of the map is the real estate agency office room key. Located on the second floor of the new real estate building, behind the door is a bit of loose valuables and electronic. This key is also needed for the quest properties all around. 34,000 rubles is your flea price. Yo, check this out. Moving on to our final area, the pink zone which contains Lexos and Concordia. Starting off with Lexos, we approach our first locked door, the Aspect Company Office Key. The Aspect Company Office Key can be used to unlock the door into the Aspect Office. This key is one use and it's not really needed as there is a hole on the other side of the building. This key is still priced at 85,000 rubles on the flea market. Inside the same building up the stairs, we have the Supply Department Director's Office Key. Behind this locked door is one filing cabinet, one locked safe, and a bit of loose loot. At the time of recording, 18,000 rubles is your fleet price. If we head deeper into the heart of Lexos, you'll find a cargo container with a mesh door. The cargo container mesh door key is used to open the door that contains one grenade box, one 5x5 weapon box, one 5x2 weapon box, and a bit of loose weapon mods. 13,000 rubles is your fleet price. Into the building to the east, the car dealership director's office room key and car dealership closed section key is located. The closed section key is a one use and as far as I know is needed to access the door of the office room key. Now behind just the closed section key is one technical supply crate, one weapon crate, two 5x2 weapon boxes, one 5x5 weapon box, one 6x3 weapon box, one PC block, a bit of loose loot, and the office dealership door. This key is needed for the quest, your car needs a service. 870,000 rubles is your flea price. Now if we go behind the office door, two filing cabinets, one PC block, and a bit of loose valuables can be found. This key is also needed for it, your car needs a service. At the time of recording, the key is priced at 48,000 rubles. Now moving out of Lexus into the Sparja next door, the store manager's key room can be found on the second floor. Behind this door is two filing cabinets, one PC block, one safe, one sports bag, and a bit of loose loot. At the time of recording, this key is priced at 14,000 rubles on the flea. Moving on to the construction site, one key resides. The construction site bunkhouse key can open the door on top of the cargo container. Behind this door is two jackets, one med case, one sports bag, and a bit of loose med supplies. At the time of recording, this key is priced at 18k rubles. Finally, we arrive to the last building containing keys on the entire map. The Concordia Apartments, we can expect six different keys. 
Concordia Apartment 64 Key, Concordia Apartment 64 Office Key, Concordia Apartment 63 Room Key, Concordia Apartment 34 Room Key, Concordia Apartment 8 Room Key, Concordia Apartment 8 Home Cinema Key. Starting out with the Concordia Apartment 64 keys, we head up to the west side of the stairs to the second story. Behind the Apartment 64 Room Key is a bit of loose valuables and other loose items, and the door for Apartment 64 Office Key. At the time of recording, 106,000 rubles is your flea price. If you head behind the Apartment 64 office door, you will find one PC block and a bit of loose loot. At the time of recording, 47,000 rubles is your flea price. Down the hall a bit to the left is the Apartment 63 room. Behind the door is a bit of loose valuables, stems, med items, and other loose items. At the time of recording, this key is worth 22,000 rubles. Heading down the hall to the south side of the building, we have apartment 34. Behind this locked door is a bit of loose loot. This key is worth 20,000 rubles. Through the hole in the wall, the apartment 8 room key can be used. Behind the door is a bit of loose valuables. At the time of recording, this key is priced at 13,000 rubles. Right beside apartment 8 is the apartment 8 home cinema key. Behind the door is loose valuables and electronics. At the time of recording, the key is priced at 25000 And our very last key on the map will be down the stairs marked with a 3. Once at the bottom, hang a left and you'll find a bright red door. The Concordia security room key is used. Behind the door you will find two PC blocks, one safe, and a bit of loose weapon mods. This key is needed for the quest surveillance. At the time of recording, this key is priced at 43,000 rubles on the flea market. And that does it for every single key on Streets of Tarkov. I'm gonna be honest, before tackling this video, I wasn't aware of the sheer amount of keys for this map. I was mainly surprised to see that most of the rooms contain just loose loot, but it's good loose loot. Anyways, the next key vid will probably be Shoreline, so uh, look out for that. I hope y'all have a wonderful rest of your week, and goodbye. Hey man, hit that sub button while you at it too, haha. <laughs>